everybody. Welcome back to Losing Laura. I hope you've been enjoying my OMAD journey for the last month. Today marks four weeks that I've been doing OMAD every day, except for one. I did have one day that I did two meals because I'd went out with some friends, but for the rest of the month, it was one meal a day. And today I'm going to give you my results of OMAD for one month and see how I did. So no delays, let's just jump into it. So last week when I weighed in, I was 214.0. This morning when I weighed in, I was 213.0. So I've only lost one pound, but that's okay. Overall for the whole month, my total weight loss is 14.8 pounds, almost 15 pounds in one month. It's insane, crazy weight loss, I know, but I am big and I do have a lot of weight to go. I'm sure it will start slowing down like this week. I only lost one pound. Now, let me say, I didn't do the best on the eating this week. I did a whole lot more carbs than I probably should have. Um, I didn't take any pictures either. I've really got to start doing better at that. I'm going to try to take pictures of my meals to put at the end of the videos for you guys so you can see what I'm eating for my one meal. But this week I did Olive Garden, which was soup, salad, and um, a little bit of shrimp Alfredo. I did that for two days, the soup and the salad, and the shrimp Alfredo was one day. The next day I did soup and breadsticks. So still carby, the breadsticks, uh, my body does not like carbs. Um, another meal I did have this week was I went out of town to do my half marathon and I had burger and fries at the hotel. And then after the race, I had Chick-fil-A and fries and a Dr. Pepper. So I did have a Dr. Pepper. Uh, the rest of the time I've been drinking water, tea, coffee, trying to stay warm because you know, we had that wonderful Arctic blast that hit here in the South and froze all of us to death. Thank goodness we didn't lose power this time, but it was still very cold. In the mornings, it was like down in the 20s, 30s, and I only got up to around 50 during the day. That is not my kind of weather. So, you know, I did not go exercise. The only exercise I did this past week was Tuesday night, I went skating, and then I had my half marathon this past weekend. So, that was my extent to exercise. I started to do a plank challenge, lasted two days into it. Then the third day sort of fell off, went out of town for the weekend, didn't do any more planks, and now I'm so sore from the marathon or half marathon, I don't feel like doing a plank. So I'm not very good at challenges, let's just say. Um, let's see, what else happened this week? Oh, the water intake. <sighs> For a couple of days, I did really well. I was drinking four bottles of water every day. For me, that's a lot. Toward the end of the week and while I was out of town, let's just say water went out the window I was lucky to get maybe a couple bottles in each day. You know, with all the flying and everything, I just don't drink water. I don't drink a lot of water at all. So it's very hard. I have to literally make myself think about it, set a timer, whatever, to drink water. Now I'll drink tea and different things like that all day long, but just regular water, no. So long story short, water intake was down again for another week. <sighs> I've got to work on that, guys. I, I know it will help me in the long run, but I am just so bad at it. I don't know what else to do. I mean, do you have any tips on how to make yourself drink something you don't like to drink other than setting timers, which apparently has not been working too well for me? Anyways, so that is my roundup for my full first month on OVMAD. I'm feeling very, I mean, actually, I'm very happy with everything. The first week was the hardest. I'm not going to lie. It was hard to cut out eating three and four times a day, snacking, drinking, you know, the sodas and stuff and the wine. You know, I haven't had alcohol since January 10th, 9th, somewhere around there. And so all that combined, and know it is helping me. Um, so I'm just going to keep going. I don't know how long I'm planning on doing OMAD. We'll just go and see what happens from here. But so far, everything is really good. After that first week, things settled down and now I don't even think about eating. You know, until about three or four in the afternoon, I finally start getting hungry and my, my stomach starts saying, hey, <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to eat now and I'll eat the one time and I'm good. I mean, it doesn't even bother me. So with all that being said, if you've ever wanna try OMAD, just push through that first week or so and after that, it's not that bad. I mean, your body gets in tune with it and the hunger pains, if they do pop up a little bit, it's for a very short time. It's when you drink your water or your tea or your coffee and they'll go away. So. 
I'm very pleased with where I'm at, hoping to get a whole lot more of this weight off. I'm going to continue to do what I'm doing and I will try to do better at taking pictures to put at the end of the videos to show you what I'm eating. And of course, once this weather starts getting a little better, I've got to get back to the exercise daily, not this inconsistent routine of once or twice a week. I need at least five to six days a week. I know it helps me if it's nothing more than just walking. I've got to get some exercise in. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope everybody had a great week. I hope that things are going well in your area and that the weather is cooperating with you a little more than me so you can actually get out and do some exercise. And then we'll see what happens next week. I'll check in with you guys next Monday and see where I am. All right, everybody, have a great day and I will see y'all soon. Bye.